and do a speed comparison between both phones. The iPhone 12 mini has that Apple A14 Bionic chip inside of it with 4 gigabytes of RAM, where the iPhone 7 Plus has that Apple A10 Fusion chip inside of it with 3 gigabytes of RAM. So let's go and see which one is the better phone between both of these. Okay, now I think I already cleared out all the apps and I did, so let's go and start loading them up. Let's do phone calls, 3, 2, 1. And actually pretty close, I don't know if one was faster. App Store, 3, 2, 1. And the 7 Plus was faster? What? I was not expecting that one. Let me go ahead and kind of swipe through. <laughs> I totally was not expecting that thing to actually happen, so that's very, very surprising to me. I guess we can start loading up a bunch of other apps now, which I have a bunch of here. Let's do Fruit Ninja, 3, 2, 1. I don't know why that actually happened. That's very, very surprising to me. And the 7 Plus is looking pretty promising. The 12 Mini is a little bit slower here. And it was able to load that specific thing up than the 12 Mini. So I don't know what to make of that one either. Could it be that the 7 Plus is faster? Let's do Twitter. <laughs> 3, 2, 1. And very, very close. I didn't really see too big of a difference there. Let's do Facebook. 3, 2, 1. And but both are really close here too. Wow, this is a much closer, you know, experience. Temple Run 2, 3, 2, 1. And I don't know why I said closer experience is the first thing that came out. Just a, just a 7 Plus is being much faster than I was expecting it to. This may be the first time where we see the 7 Plus being noticeably behind. The 12 Mini was definitely far ahead of the iPhone 7 Plus. And we're already loaded on the 12 Mini. The 7 Plus a little bit slower. Still actually pretty decently performing. Again, this is a four-year-old phone. This is a brand new device. And you actually can kind of see this green difference too. There's quite a bit of difference in terms of the panel. The 12 mini seems a lot better of a panel too. Bofa, three, two, one. The 12 mini is the faster one here. The seven plus, a little bit behind right there. Let's go and do Quizlet, three, two, one. And I think the 12 mini was faster, but the seven plus was actually right behind it. Dropbox, three, two, one. And 12 mini was faster there, 7 plus behind it. Bofa, 3, 2, I could have sworn I already did that. Let's do Netflix, 3, 2, 1. The 12 mini, I think, slightly ahead. Not a ginormous difference by any means. Snake versus Blocks, 3, 2, 1. And the 7 plus actually was a little bit faster there. That's very surprising. I just compared the 7 plus to the 12 Pro Max, and that phone was actually doing pretty way faster than the iPhone uh, 7 Plus at that time, so that was very surprising. Let's do thank you, three, two, one. And both very close here too. This is extremely, extremely surprising to me. I wasn't expecting to see this big of a difference. And let's go ahead and do the next one, stack, three, two, one. And when I say this big of a difference, I mean this much of a similarity between them. And I, I think the tall mini was going to be the faster one there too. Seven Plus a little bit behind. Let's do paper out two, three, two, one. And the seven plus was the faster one. The iPhone 12 mini, a little bit behind. This is so surprising to me. I'm not too sure why this keeps happening. This is like some seriously surprising stuff for sure. Let's do the next app, Real Racing 3, 3, 2, 1. Now when I did hop out of it, you did see on the 7 Plus, it did glitch up a little bit. So I still think the overall experience is going to be smoother and probably overall faster on the 12 Mini. But the 7 Plus is doing surprisingly well. I was not expecting it to do this well in terms of you know comparing it to the iPhone 12 Mini. Here you can see the 12 Mini eventually did get into it. The 7 Plus, I think, was having issues getting into this game before. So I'll probably just end it there and just probably just say the 12 Mini one. And honestly, to kind of sum up this comparison... I'm actually really surprised about the 12 mini compared to the iPhone 7 Plus. And I want I want you to guys to see this. This iPhone 12 mini is on the latest version of iOS, and this phone is still having RAM management issues. It just does not make any sense to me how Apple can actually support a phone and push it out and have it having worse RAM just overall in general than the 7 Plus, which came out four years ago. And this is another classic case. Why is the 12 mini not able to keep these apps in the background, but the iPhone 7 Plus is. Both are on the latest versions. This one's on iOS 14.2. This was on 14.2.1. And we're still having these types of issues. It just does not make any sense to me. It's just so extremely weird. And here's another case. Well, technically the 7 Plus restarted too, but it looks like it's going to be able to load back into it faster than the iPhone 12 mini. So what I'll tell you is the 7 Plus was surprisingly fast compared to the iPhone 12 mini. The iPhone 12 mini is supposed to be faster, and it was in some cases, but the RAM management portion, the iPhone 7 Plus probably won. So I'll probably tell you, if you have an older iPhone, do not go to the iPhone 12 mini for the RAM management. This phone is a really weird performing phone, but I'll probably talk about that in another video. I've already made a video about it, but I'll probably do another one. Let's go ahead on the cameras.